a relatively simple solo we're going to do in cross harp right now. And it uses long tones and some different timing elements like quarter note triplets and eighth note triplets to break up the time. So while keeping it relatively easy to play, you're actually moving a lot of stuff around, which is really the important thing about playing blues is using the time. So here we go. This is called Easy Solo in G. got a C harp. I'm going to play in the key of G here in cross harp and we're going to start out on a nice wailing but not overly strident four draw. A little bit of a qua or a qui to set it up, give it a little bend. Uh, but basically we're swelling the note. So we're starting pretty quiet and we're swelling up the volume over four beats. Two, three, four. It's a subtle thing but just sort of try and relax as you're playing the note. Open up. And I'm also, because I'm relaxing, I'm getting that vibrato towards the end of it. Let the vibrato happen at the peak of your swell so that as you're relaxing more to bring the volume down, the vibrato is actually increasing. There's a whole dynamic around that that I teach in my vibrato course. Two, three, four. So very easy here. We're just going to switch down to the three blow, then play a three draw qua and then slide down to the two draw. Three, four, two, three, four, two, three, four. And then cut that off and just let those next few beats sound out. We're gonna play the same four draw again. And back to the three blow to set up. We're going to play these uh, quarter note triplets, three draw. So the timing will be two, three, four. The idea with the quarter note triplets is you're playing three notes over the space of two and a half beats, basically. So you have to space them evenly. It's kind of like dividing the number two by three and then trying to visualize that. And it's a great little timing trick that a lot of uh, Chicago blues guys would use, especially Big Walter. He was a big influence that way. He would throw a lot of those in his playing. Two, three, four. So you get the idea. Uh, four chord, we're just going to go dot, dot, two, three, four. And that's perfectly legal, in fact, I even heartily encourage it because people will listen to you more if you don't say as much, you know, the, the wailing notes and the really distinctive sounding notes will sound that much bigger and fuller. Um, it's kind of like not talking too much, which I have yet to learn, but anyway, I can do this on harmonica. Uh, back to the one chord, going back to that long four draw. This time I'm going to do the triplet thing, the quarter note triplet on the four draw. And I'm using a qua, 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 or qui, qui, qui. And then I'm playing a straight four draw and dragging it down. Hiwa. And in the process of doing that, um, sometimes I slide to the left and I catch the three. Not always. Sometimes I just stay where I am. But it makes sense musically to descend a little bit there. So if you end up catching a little bit of the three hole without actually playing it, it sounds pretty good. Like that almost sounds like you're going. But you're not. Um, the next thing we do on the five chord is just stick to a couple of the basic beats, play Four draw on the first beat and the second beat here. Two, three, four. Blow out for that third beat. 
And then we're just going to descend through part of the blues scale, your basic down riff. I'm playing four draw, four blow, three draw. Each time I've got one of those bent, one of those draw notes, I'm going to play a little qua on it. And then two draw, playing it regular and trying not to bend on that. In fact, trying not to put any tension on it at all. Just go. Ata. And that last one is syncopated instead of playing. You want to actually play that last two draw before the next beat. So. And hold it through the beat, and that's the essence of syncopation. You're starting kind of um, off of the side and holding the note through the actual beat. Now the turnaround comes right after this, and we're just going to stick with that two draw and say dit 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 dit, playing actual eighth note triplets. And go to the three blow, which is actually part of a classic Sunny Boy 2 turnaround, which we'll get to another time. So this triplet pattern starts on the second beat of the 11th bar of the 12 bar blues. So you've already played, been sustaining that two draw. So I'm going to count it in just so we can get to the triplets. Two, three, four, one. Again, that one draw is syncopated. So one's down, one's on the downbeat, and one's up. If you're tapping your foot, which you should be, then your foot will be up on that last one. So the whole thing through is slowly. We'll go like this. Two, three, four. spaces between the notes. You can breathe in, breathe out, breathe in rhythm. Just breathe. Very important. <laughs> 